Hello, my name is Eric Paris, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use OneNote for your RPA projects. Choosing the right tools to create and share all documents involved in an RPA project can be a difficult task. I have worked with Word documents and Excel files to create the as-is and to-be user stories, but neither of them really satisfied me, and it always looked as if I was working with tools that weren't meant for this, and I would always end up with a lot of separate documents, difficult to store and maintain. That's why I decided to look into OneNote. Now maybe you're like me, you know it's there because it comes with Microsoft Office, but don't use it a lot. But I will show you how you can use it for your RPA projects, and maybe you'll be convinced, as I am, that it's actually the perfect tool to use. In this video, I want to show you a template I have developed especially for RPA projects. In other videos, I will explain in more detail all different sections of this template, but for this video, I will mostly focus on the OneNote functionalities. Let me open an RPA notebook made with this template. As you can see, there are five sections in this notebook, process, as is, to be, development, and correspondence. Each section has different pages, shown here under each other. Besides having the pages under each other, you can also nest pages, like this. which you can open and collapse for readability. And while we are in this section, let me show you how you can include the screenshots and flowchart here. For both the screenshots made with PowerPoint, and the flowchart made with Excel, I have made other videos you can consult. Choose Insert, File Printout, and choose the file with your screenshots. It will insert all the slides in the PowerPoint file as well as the PowerPoint file itself. Clicking on the PowerPoint file will open the file in PowerPoint. For the flowchart, which was made in Excel, I use a different approach, because the option File Printout will only paste the first page of the Excel sheet, which is insufficient to hold the whole flowchart. I selected and copied the flowchart, and pasted it on this page. Should you have Visio installed, you will find an extra button called Diagram to make a connection to a Visio file. To have a consistent look of each process step, I have created page templates for the as-is and to-be process steps. Go to Insert, Page Templates, and choose Page Templates. Here open my templates, and choose either the as-is process step, or the to-be process step. They are slightly different. and you even have version control for your pages. Right-click on a page, and choose the last option, Show Page Versions. Now you can click on any of the versions shown here, and you can right-click on a particular version, and choose Restore Version to restore it. If you don't want to see the versions anymore, right-click again and choose Hide Page Versions. For validation purposes, it's good to have an export option, to show, for example, a part of the process to a system matter expert or stakeholder, without the need for them to have OneNote. You can export a page, multiple pages, a section, and even the whole notebook. If it is just one page you want to show to someone, select the page, go to File, Send, and choose how you want to send the page. If you choose Email Page, Outlook will be opened and a new email is prepared with the complete page in the body. The other options speak for themselves. But you can only do this for one page, if you want to send more pages, a section, or even the complete notebook, you'll need to use another method. You can try and select each format, but for me, the PDF and the single web page options work best. The PDF file looks like this. As you can see a new page was created for each step. The single web page looks like this. You can open it in any browser. And if you wish you can export a whole section, or the whole notebook. Nice if you want to have a printed version. In most processes, you'll have a lot of emails going back and forth between you and the key user, system matter expert, developer, stakeholder, etc. A nice feature of OneNote is that you can store all these emails in a section of your notebook. That is why I have created this correspondence section. In Outlook, click on the OneNote button, choose this section, and a new page is created with the complete email. Simple and very effective. You can share a notebook with others if you use OneDrive or SharePoint. Go to File, Share, 
and choose the location. After that, you can specify which people you want to share your notebook with, and if they can edit, or just view it. So you can work with multiple people on the same notebook, as it is auto-saving any changes. And when you share a notebook, maybe you don't want to show everything to everybody. Restrict access to a section by right-clicking on it, and choose Password Protect This Section. You can now define a password and the section will be protected. Remember, this can only be done for a complete section. Okay, I think by now you have a pretty good understanding of most of the functionalities of OneNote. You can, of course, explore other functionalities which I don't use here, but now you know enough to work with my template. As I said, I will show each section in more detailed videos, and as a bonus, I will also supply this complete template for you to use as you see fit. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and visit my YouTube channel, if you want to see more videos on documenting RPA projects.